I want to go to prom and lose my goddamn virginity. <laughs> prom night. It's kind of perfect. I'm in. I think it's so great to have it now because we've seen a bunch of movies that have been from the male perspective in terms of them losing their virginity or wanting to get laid. And uh, this movie is straight from the female perspective. These ladies going after it and having agency over their own bodies and making their own decisions and their own choices and not caring about what other people are thinking and, and as best friends just making this pack together. And I think that is really important to show our audience uh, the, this different kind of story. I knew what I wanted it to look like and I knew what I wanted it to feel like, but it's just like anything you do for the first time like losing your virginity. <laughs> you're nervous and mm -hmm. fearful and and you're just hoping that it goes okay. And then I have to say like, as soon as we started our first day of shooting, I felt like you were the first shot mm -hmm. uh, when you're alone in your bedroom. Yeah. And so it was a very simple shot. It wasn't, there wasn't even any dialogue. Mm -mm. And uh, I was like, oh, I, I got it. Okay, I can do this. <laughs> it was, was like nice. an easy. Yeah, it was an oh, easy man. way in. Yeah, it was mostly playing and mostly getting alts. And the scenes were constantly changing. We had one scene that we shot in the kitchen with Lisa and Julie and um, we shot it and we didn't like how it was going and we reshot it the next day. <laughs> and so there was just a constant, like I would just yell out jokes and I had a little conductor stand where writers and myself and producers would like put up jokes on little pieces of paper and I would sort of curate which ones I wanted to shout out to them. And, oh, yeah. and there was just a lot, there was so much playing. And I would do something called a fun run, which is after we got what was on the page, but we just, you know, by the time we got to the fun run, we'd already done a lot of changes. This was my first movie, my first comedy, and m for my first movie to be directed by a woman it is like incredible. She brought such a great comforting energy to the set. It was kind of like having, we were talking about this last night, like, mm -hmm. like having like a mom on set with you. Um, she just like guiding you. Because I was really nervous to do the film and I wanted to be good and she always made me feel so comfortable. I mean, it was just, the whole thing was great. She's great. Oh. Yeah, it was very clear that we were in good hands from like rehearsal period. She's the best. Mm -hmm. have, well, it's exactly um, what was, what's going on in my real life. So my daughter, when we talked about doing the movie, my daughter was about to leave to go to college. And I'm not allowed to talk about her sex life. <laughs> but I had a lot of similar things happening in my real life. Um, <laughs> so watching it is like, um, it's just like what's happening, you know, now. Um, the ending was really sweet. That made me cry because it felt like, like closing a chapter. Yeah. When we previewed the movie, every preview we did had a great response. But last night was insane. Like yeah. that was the most amazing <laughs> watching, viewing experience I've ever been a part of. It was yeah. so cool. And once we knew that they were all laughing and really enjoying it, but we were just talking about how when they uh, had, there was an applause break after the scene where Lisa leaves the hotel room. And I, w I just, I felt mm. like it, I was in a dream. Like <laughs> I, I didn't think it yeah, was real. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was incredible. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, like we were being pranked or something. <laughs> <laughs> Kayla's becoming a woman. You're going to have to deal with that. Thanks. I was looking for that.